there, Psych2Go family. Welcome back to another video by Psych2Go, made possible only through your love and support. We aim to explore everyday situations through the glasses of simple psychology. Have you ever met a very nice person in your life? Who are they and what makes them nice people? We're not talking about the fake nice people though, that we've covered in another video, but you probably pictured someone who is agreeable, easy to get along with, thoughtful, caring, and polite. They do favors for their loved ones without ever asking for anything in return and are happy to help everyone out with their dilemmas. While being nice is a wonderful quality we should all aspire to have, there are certain drawbacks that come with taking it to an extreme. Perhaps you might relate to the points in this video, and that's why we made it, so that you can know when you're being too nice for your own good. Are you starting to worry you might be too nice for your own good? Well, here are eight signs that can help you figure it out. One, you don't prioritize your own needs. Are you constantly putting others ahead of you and selflessly devoting most of your time, energy, and attention to them? Do you go out of your way to make sure all of their wants and needs are taken care of, but never once ask them to do the same for you? If you're not careful, you might end up being exploited and taken advantage of by a lot of so-called friends. It's important to take care of yourself and prioritize your own needs from time to time. Anyone who actually loves you will understand and wants what's best for you. Two, you're constantly saying sorry. It's great that you're humble enough to admit your mistakes and apologize for them, but don't overdo it. You don't owe anyone an apology for things that aren't even your fault. If you're too nice for your own good, you may suffer from a guilt complex that compels you to say sorry every time you feel like you've let somebody down. You're so preoccupied with making sure you don't hurt anyone else's feelings that you're quick to offer a hasty apology and take the blame for something you shouldn't. Three, you agree to things you don't want to do. Being nice and doing favors for other people should make you feel good about yourself, not worse. Do you find yourself agreeing and going along with what everyone else wants because you feel like you have no choice but to say yes? If so, you'll probably start to resent others for asking so much of you, but you'll never once speak up about it. You let them walk all over you and blame yourself for not being brave enough to tell them how you really feel. Four, you often say yes immediately. Are you often quick to say yes to everything, especially if it's someone close to you who's asking for something? Do you often agree without any hesitation because you worry others will judge your decision? Do you care about their opinion so much that it means you'll sacrifice your own needs? It's important to only say yes to things that you want or are willing to do. It's okay to have other priorities. Don't let other people's happiness come at the cost of your own. Five, you never tell people what you want. Are you afraid of coming off as bossy or demanding? Is this why you don't express your opinions or share your preferences with others? You never suggest where to eat, where to go out, or what movie to watch, so everyone else ends up making the decision for you instead. You might feel hurt that they don't take your feelings into consideration, but when they ask you what you want, your default response is usually, whatever you want, or I'm good with anything. Being so flexible to accommodate others is detrimental to your self-esteem as well as your image. People may begin to take you for granted, so it's important to let others know your mind. Six, you have a strong need to be liked. People who are too nice for their own good often act this way because they think it will make everyone else like them more. Do you think this is true for you too? Be honest with yourself about where this compulsion to be overly nice comes from. Do you define yourself according to your relationships with others? Have you made your sense of self-worth too dependent on their approval? While it's normal to fear rejection and crave acceptance from others, you shouldn't let this need control your life. People should like you for who you are, not because of what you can do for them. Seven, you're very conflict averse. Are you afraid of a little confrontation? When a friend or family member is upset with you, do you just avoid them and hope they'll get over it soon? Of course, nobody likes to argue or fight with other people but being too conflict averse isn't good either. You wanna keep the peace, so you just give in to what the other person wants and agree with the things they say, but how can anyone ever respect you if you never stand up for yourself? You can state your side of an argument in a calm and reasonable way, and others will appreciate your honesty. And eight, others often take advantage of you. Have you ever been in a codependent relationship? Do people always turn to you for help fixing their problems? Do you have a long list of favors you've promised to do, even if you didn't actually want to? All of these things are definite signs that you're too nice for your own good, and other people are exploiting you for it. You never have any time for yourself anymore because you're so busy helping everyone else out, 
and you constantly feel overwhelmed by their incessant demands of you. In the end, while there's certainly nothing wrong with being a nice person, it's just not right for you to sacrifice so much of your time, energy, and emotional well-being for the sake of others. Set healthy boundaries for yourself and don't be afraid to put your foot down from time to time. It's not selfish to take care of yourself and you deserve to be happy just as much as anyone else does. You often find yourself putting others' needs before your own. Could you relate to the situations explained in this video? Please let us know in the comments below. Also, share this video with those you think might benefit from it. Stay tuned for more psychology.